Hey, what are you up to, man? Oh, hey. And now I'm just trying to, to sell more here on my online shop. Cool. Have you checked the customer behavior on your website? Yeah, that's a really good idea. Let, let's try that. What? Where are you going, man? Wait. Yeah, no, let's just see what they're doing. Wait, what, what do you mean? Yeah, man, look at that. Yes, look at that, she's looking at the white t-shirt. Really? Whoa, she added to car. <laughs> hey there, this is Thiago Mazeo and I'm a content creator here at one.com. And as you saw in the intro of this video, we'll go more into detail on how you can track and analyze user behavior inside your online shop. But don't worry, it doesn't have to be shady like you saw in the intro of this video. You can do all of that from your website analytics or from Google Analytics. And here are five aspects of user behavior that you should be monitoring. So for the first one, analyzing traffic sources from visitors inside your website can provide you with valuable insights into how users find your site, engage with it, and ultimately convert. Understanding the source of your traffic helps you make informed decisions about your digital marketing strategy and how to optimize user experience inside your online shop. Here's a detailed look on how sources of traffic can help you improve your shop. Analyzing traffic sources enables you to determine which marketing channels are driving the most visitors to your website. This information helps you make sure you're spending your marketing budget effectively. For example, if you find that your email campaign is driving more traffic than your social media posts, you can adjust your marketing strategy to focus more on email marketing. By knowing where your visitors are coming from, you can also tailor your content and keywords to align with their interests and needs. If you want to start with search engine optimization, I recommend our latest webinar on how to get started. I'll leave two links here in the description, one if you're using our website builder and the other one if you're using WordPress and there you can learn way more about SEO and how to get started. Analyzing page views offers many insights into user behavior and the effectiveness of your web content. Understanding page views can help you to optimize your site structure, your content strategy and ultimately drive better results results for your online business. Let's break this down. Page views can show which pages on your website are the most popular and engaging. By identifying high traffic pages, you can better understand what type of content or which products resonate the most with your audience. This information enables you to create more of the content that your visitors find valuable and engaging, leading to increased user satisfaction and conversions. Examining the sequence of page views can help you to understand the user journey through your website. You can see where users start, which pages they visit next, and where they drop off. By finding common paths and drop-off points, you can perfect your website navigation and create call to actions to guide users towards desired actions such as making a purchase, for example. If your website generates revenue through ads, page views are a key metric to determine ad revenue potential. Higher page view counts can attract more advertisers and lead to increased ad revenue. This metric is particularly important for bloggers, news websites, and content-driven platforms. The bounce rate measures the percentage of visitors who land on your page and then leave the site without taking any further action. Understanding and effectively managing your bounce rate is vital for several reasons. The bounce rate is a direct indicator of how engaging and relevant your counter or landing page is to your audience. A high bounce rate often suggest that visitors didn't find what they were looking for or were not engaged by the content, design, or user experience. By analyzing bounce rates on different pages, you can also pinpoint areas of your website that need improvement. Bounce rate is a factor that search engines consider when figuring out the quality and relevance of a website. A high bounce rate may signal that your content or landing page are not meeting user expectations. The conversion rate measures the percentage of visitors who complete a specific action or goal, 
such as making a purchase, signing up for a newsletter, or filling out a contact form. Here are a few reasons that highlight the importance of analyzing the conversion rate. The conversion rate is a key metric for assessing the performance and success of your online business. It gives you a very direct metric to see how effective your website is at converting visitors into customers, leads, or subscribers. A high conversion rate is a positive sign that your website is optimized which leads to an increased revenue and growth. Different websites have different goals. For an e-commerce site, a conversion might be a complete purchase, while for a blog, it could be a newsletter, sign up, and many other things. By analyzing conversion rates, you will track progress towards specific aims and find areas where you can improve. Average session duration. This metric measures the average amount of time users spend on your site during a single visit. And here is why you should monitor it. A longer session duration often suggests that visitors are consuming more of your content. This can be a sign that your content is relevant and valuable to your audience. By analyzing which pages have higher average session durations, you can find which topics or content formats most resonates with your visitor. Longer sessions provide more opportunities to engage visitors and guide them through your site's conversion funnel. You can use strategies such as well-placed call to actions and also related content recommendation that will encourage your visitors to explore more pages, which creates more opportunities for conversions. If you want to learn how to do all those things inside Google Analytics, please leave a comment down below and we can schedule a live webinar to go over specific points in more detail so you can learn more from this. That's it from today's video and I hope you have enjoyed the content and if you did, just hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel here to stay up to speed with all our tips on how to take your online business to the next level. I see you guys on the next video. Bye now.